I'm David Underkoffler, auto critic for the Los Angeles Times, here with your Motor Minute. This week I review a Chrysler 200. It's a thorough redesign of the Chrysler Sebring, a car that was so bad that you had no business parking it in your driveway unless you had robbed a Hertz rental car agency or struck it big on the price is right. The 200 aims to correct as many of the Sebring's faults as possible while Chrysler works on a completely new mid-sized car due out in 2013. The four-cylinder engine is a holdover from the old Sebring, but the optional Pentastar V6 is all new. Also new is a six-speed automatic transmission, a completely redesigned front and rear, and interior. The 200 is comfortable to drive and wonderfully quiet on the road. The fully loaded Limited that I tested was also a bit of a bargain at $27,000. Unfortunately, although it's much improved over the Sebring, the 200 still falls short as an overall package. Competitors like the Honda Accord, the Toyota Camry, or the Ford Fusion still offer more car at a better quality. We'll see you in 2013, Chrysler.